What's going on everyone? Joe Hogan out. Today is the best day breeding for me so far. We have all three females lay their first clutch. Autumn just laid her first clutch this morning and it took her, no lie, about four and a half hours to get all the eggs out and guys, we're over 20 eggs and they all look fertile. They all look good. I see no slugs. Let's go grab the eggs right now. Let's put them in their egg tubs. Let's get them in the incubator. Let's do this here on Hogging Out. All right, everybody, we got three egg tubs here, one, two, and three. It's gonna be over 20 eggs. I don't know how many, I think it's 23, 24, maybe 25. I haven't counted, but I did take Autumn out of here and I put her in a reserve tub. Uh, a tub for her just to, uh, you know, just chill. I put a, a ball of water in there and I'll feed her in a few hours here. Give her a nice meal for producing this many eggs. Oh, look at all those eggs. All right, let's see if we can get a count here. They're all pearly white. I see no slugs. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 that I can see. I don't know if there's any more, which we'll check later. But whoever guessed 23 on Instagram, Michael Jordan's number. You hit the nail on the head. Now the first one I want to get is this one right here. It's angled. We're gonna get the angled ones out. And what we're gonna do is just put them in this first egg tub here. Now this is um, fine cocoa core. It's not wet, it's moist though. So again, you do the squeeze test. And I got a little bit of the um, spag moss in here. But what you wanna do is don't pat it down. I put four little holes in each side, four little holes. I think it's 1 16th drill bit I use. So we, what I want to do is keep them away from the walls because they do grow. So I like to put like uh, indentations in here. So put little indentations in here. Each tub will hold nine eggs. And what we're going to do too as well is I like to use this light here to check where the embryo is. Let's see what we've got. There's a nice embryo right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but put the first one right there. I like to cover it up a little bit. Now let's get this one here. Yeah, look at the size of that freaking embryo. Holy schmoly. Up top at all times. Look at that one. That one has juicy veins. We call that juicy veins. And these all have great veins. Great veins. Look at this little baby one here. Oh, look at that little embryo. Well, it's not little. It's a nice size embryo. And there we go. The first nine. Nice and white, strong embryos, big embryos, nice veins. We're going to put this in the incubator. Alright, let's get our second tub here. Let's put some indentations in here. Not the greatest, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're happy today. Today's a happy day. Man, strong veins. Strong veins on these. Like I said, I like to bury them about halfway, 75% of the way. Strong embryos, man. Holy crap. All these eggs look beautiful. Nice. Spill it in a little bit. Come up about, about, you know, 50-75%. We'll survive. One's clutch last year was very, very strong. So, there we go. Another nine. That's 18. All right, guys, let's get the last five, and that puts us at 23. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. We'll mix it up a little bit. We'll give these guys a little bit more room. We'll give them a little bit more room. Can't believe all these are fertile. I can't believe how strong these embryos are in the veins. She's always did good. Autumn, she plays great clutches. Last year, her first clutch was 22. I think out of 22, I had a couple uh, that were dummy eggs. 
They slugged out on me in the incubation. I think her first clutch was 18 babies. So I think I had two slugs out of 22, and then two that didn't, uh, that were dummy eggs. Now this embryo is it's pretty strong, but the veins don't look too strong. This is the first one I've noticed that the veins aren't too strong. So, I try to be a perfectionist sometimes, but that looks good. So there we go, everybody, five more. Puts us at 23, she beat her uh, personal best PB, so last year was 22, this year 23. The parent was AAA had some burst male, and then Autumn is an Andaconda, 100% double head snow, a Xanthic albino. And she's also possible, which I haven't proven out yet, so I probably won't be able to prove that out until uh, another year or two. Uh, possible Hetz, Evan Typo. So there we have it, everyone. Autumn's first clutch. I hope she double clutches. Last year, her second clutch, I think, was 16. But uh, all fertile, guys. Zero slugs out of this clutch. Very solid, very you know solid veins. Nice uh, egg structure. I think there was one, this one right here. That had a, a nice embryo, but the veins looked a little weak. But yeah, you never know. Incubate until there's no debate, right? So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Best day of the breeding season. Let's go. I know Syl is ready to... Uh, Syl is actually in a, in her pre-lay shed for her second clutch, and she got big. She did lock up four days after her first clutch. So, hopefully, uh, we get some good eggs out of her on her second clutch. All right, guys. You have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video. This is Joe from Hogging Out. Cheers! Yes, let's go!